Well, what you're seeing here is something that is tremendously powerful and tremendously sad. It's sad from the standpoint of the family. They've lost a father, they've lost a brother, they've lost a son, um, they've lost a husband. Um, but it is also sad from, as you see, all of the law enforcement agencies here. We've lost somebody we work with. But there's another way in which this is sad that I think is important for us to face and realize. This is sad to the entire community. This is a loss to the entire community. We see too much of this sadness in this area. We see too much of it around the nation. Uh, we see too many instances in which people who have an obligation to protect people who will step forward, who have a sense of duty and obligation and sacrifice, end up being terribly harmed or murdered, as in this case. So is this a sad event? Yes. And it's a powerful event in this way. It's a powerful event because all of the men and women who are walking out here and driving out here will go back on duty, will not slack off, will not shirk their duty, will take the same risks day after day, shift after shift. Well, I can tell you that uh, he is a very young uh, man, uh, 33 years old, uh, three years with our agency, um, a good, solid, stalwart man we are very thinly stretched out here in the county. And this man was willing to work despite the fact that we have a thin, stretched staffing situation. He ran toward trouble. He ran to protect somebody whose house was being actively broken into. That's the kind of heart, that's the kind of spirit, that's the kind of strength these people show. Unfortunately, you see the consequences. And some of the consequences are terrible as tonight is terrible. Remember the family. Remember the people who wear badges for them and their communities. Remember the, the power and the sadness of what you see today. And let's find a way for this to happen far less frequently.